I was uh, doing my research with Bitcoin, um, but uh, Bitcoin is quite simple because of the security security reason, I guess. Uh, so there are not much things, uh, not many things for me to do. So um, and then in around, uh, I think it's it's mid 2015. Uh, Ethereum Foundation launched Ethereum, um, and then I, I am interested, and I started doing my research by then. Yep. Because there are a lot of things that we can do with Ethereum, uh, with the new you know smart contract platform, uh, the Turing complete uh, you know language that people can actually program uh, easily, um, not like in Bitcoin. I think it's a moonshot in designing a digital computation platform in a way that you can, you know, send your computation, uh, you know, to everyone and ask them to compute it. And uh, you can be for sure that, you know, um, your, the, the result of your of the computation will be correct. Uh, as long as, you know, there are enough good people in the network. So that's a technical way of uh, describing Ethereum. In my PhD, I mainly focus on cryptocurrencies, things like you know Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. Um, I also study about uh, consensus protocols, like how do uh, all the nodes in the cryptocurrency network reach an agreement on the ledger, right? Um, so some of my projects, uh, including the uh, Verifier Dilemma, where I published a paper back in 2015, which uh, actually influenced the future design of Ethereum. And recently, we have uh, a paper about uh, you know security in smart contract. Uh, we have uh, we have introduced you know several new types of bugs in smart contract, and we also design a new tool so that you know people can actually use it to uh, to uh, analyze their their own smart contract to see uh, it has any you know problem. My talk was. Uh, my talk has two parts. Uh, the, the first one, uh, I introduced two new bugs uh, that we uh, that we identify in the uh, existing uh, Ethereum smart contract platform. And the second one is about the tool that, that we uh, designed and implemented, uh, which allow people to analyze their own smart contracts. I think now uh, there are two main problems that Ethereum really should focus on. Uh, first of all, the secu security problem, uh, because it's so easy for people to create a new smart contract, right? Um, but it comes with a uh, you know security question. Um, is this? I mean, you can view that smart contract is you know one shot program, in which you have only one chance to make it right. Once you uh, have deployed your smart contract, there's no way for you to you know change it or you know modify it later on. So you have to, uh, you know, test your smart contract really uh, well before you you launch it. And uh, the second problem is about the scalability because uh, once the platform uh, has shown to be useful and uh, helpful to people, then a lot of people will, you know, join the network, and a lot of computation will be uh, will be uh, run on the blockchain. So scalability is one of the biggest problem. The way ONT works is that it uses some known techniques in pro programming language research called uh, symbolic execution. So uh, what it does is it goes through all the possible parts of the program and for every execution, uh, execution part, it will uh, analyze and see whether that, that part has any of the existing problem. Um, and uh, we guarantee that um, I mean, if, if we do it right, uh, we won't miss any uh, possible bug of the, of the smart contract. Right now, we are, we are talking with the foundation to see uh, what is the next possible step. So one of the possible steps is to uh, give the uh, give ONT to the foundation pupil so that they can maintain it. And the other uh, possibility is to you know uh, collaborate uh, with each other. Uh, because I am in my PhD program, so I cannot spend full time on this project. Um, but the foundation have people, so uh, they can have, they can be helpful. The DAO is kind of a helpful in a way that it raises the awareness about security to people. Uh, so now people will pre remember the DAO as one of the most expensive, uh, you know, lesson <laughs> when you create your own smart contract. Uh, yeah, so I think it's, it's actually a good thing. 
it will in enable a lot of applications, uh, a lot of you know, uh, a lot of things that you know we cannot do before. Uh, for example, now people can um, can use smart contract to work with each other without a real contract and get paid in you know cryptocurrency, or uh, we can remove a lot of middleman, right? Uh, we can run some version of Uber on on the blockchain because um, you know we can remove all the all the middleman, right? So you can find your Uber driver on the blockchain, and uh, you know they can maintain all the rating and reputation on chain as well. So that could be one of the you know interesting application. Blockchain is is a is a good topic because it has uh, almost every field uh, of computer science. It has uh, applied crypto. It has uh, digital system algorithms. It has a programming language with a smart contract platform. Um, and it's, 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 it's really interesting to do uh, research on the blockchain because, um, because uh, you can easily you know, apply your research in, in practice because the, the, the field is, is quite new and people are you know, actively working on it. So you can easily deploy your, you know, uh, your research to real system and make you know, real impact.